Richard, great to see you. Uh, first of all, when we last spoke to you, it was just after the Wigan game and you mentioned how you thought the players were, were much better than the account they, they gave themselves that day. Um, have they shown that of late? I think that's obvious, yeah. Well, the, the recent results, four wins on the trot. Uh, uh, on the day, we, it, we, it, was a, it was a poor performance. We can't, we can't deny that. Uh, we always knew we were better than that. I think now and again, uh, for one reason or another, no idea why uh, sometimes. But it's, I suppose it's uh, uh, a bit of belief in what you do, um, being consistent on the training ground all the time and keep pushing the same message. They, uh, they, they, we were poor that day, but we, we knew we were better than that anyway. So re recent results have just, uh, just proved that. And what has been the difference, especially of like the month of March? Uh, the month of March, I, I, I suppose the, um, I, th I think from, from the month of March, from, from that time, that, that, the performance, uh, I think the players acted really professionally at the time. Uh, that they, they didn't uh, just stick their head in the sand. Uh, they were questioning. Uh, they were questioning each other on the training ground. It was very competitive. Uh, uh, people were sort of, uh, in some ways, in throughout life, you have, uh, you get the basics uh, and you, you do them right. And when you do them right, you, you do things well. But sometimes we all get ahead of ourselves and we uh, we forget to do the basics. Uh, so it's a case of learn something, probably forget it a little bit, and then relearn it again and then realise how important those little things are. So it was probably a case of going through that, I think. And as coaches around that time, is there anything you changed tactically or in terms of the way you communicate your messages? Uh, no, the, the, I, mean, you, I mean, for me, uh, especially in football, you have to be consistent because otherwise, if you're sending one message one week and we lose a game, you send another message next week. I think people don't understand where they are. We want to play a certain way. Uh, we want it to be uh, an attacking game. We want to uh, we want to uh, be competitive without the ball, especially when we lose the ball out the pitch. Uh, so those those messages have always been the same. Sometimes we've done it really well, and other times not so well. Uh, you know, so so the, the, the messages have been very consistent. I, I think probably you probably, I'm probably jumping ahead of myself here, but the, the the inclusion of a few new players, especially in the back line, uh, because of the numbers we had, uh, has been very important. And even with how good we've been recently, the manager still thinks there's a lot more to come. Would you agree with that? Well, without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, some, some games you look at and you go, you don't want the opposition to get a chance. You don't really want the opposition to have any build-up play. Um, and I think that the more we work at it with, with the group of players that we've got, and the, the more they, I won't say buy into it because they've bought into it, the more they understand that we need to be working at these basics and learning and relearning and doing it on a regular basis, then, uh, then we'll be OK. We came across a stat the other day that no team in the Championship has scored more first-half goals than Aston Villa. Is that something you emphasise in training? Um, Quick starts? Not really, not in training. I, I, I think what you want to be, you want to be competitive throughout the game because you're just as likely to win a game in the, in the last minute as you are in the first. Uh, but I, I, I do feel that the, the tactical side of the Championship over the last eight to nine years has, has, has improved an awful lot. Teams are very competent at, uh, at banking in and keeping a clean sheet. And uh, I think the importance of the first goal, uh, Middlesbrough would probably be a great example because Middlesbrough, uh, very organised team, don't concede a lot of goals. Uh, when we played away, we had to work a long time to get the first goal, even though the home team. Uh, but at home, I felt it was important we get a first goal and how you get it. Uh, and keeping belief in what you do. So, so that, especially as a team that, that's, that wants to come and sit in, the first goal can be very important. Is there any examples of players, perhaps, from when you came in last October that you've worked closely with and you've seen a significant improvement? I, I think the whole group. I, I say the whole group, I, I, you know, let's say an improvement. Uh, you see an improvement with them technically, tactically, uh, emotionally, the way they deal with mistakes. Uh, I, I think. Probably that, that's been the thing that's impressed me uh, over the period is, is the way that mistakes happen, which are going to happen in any game of football, and the way players react to it. And we'll be coming a better team at counter-pressing than we, than we were when we, when we first came in, I think. Uh, that's for sure. And, and I suppose some of that's uh, the pressure that's playing at Villa Park, really. Everybody doesn't want to make a mistake, but football's a game of mistakes. And I think as a group, we've dealt better with that. It hasn't been dwelling on, oh, 
I made a mistake, oh, I made a mistake. It's like react, do something positive straight away because you can guarantee that the, the crowd will support you in doing that, I'm sure. Is that very much the, the mentality, particularly in games, West Brom, for example, where you didn't play that badly uh, and Stoke as well, but just didn't quite get the win? The, the mentality, well, it, it has to be all the time. I, I think the West Brom game, uh, there was, I mean, you, you watch the game, you go, oh, we lost 2-0, but you, you watch it back again and you go, nothing in the game. We were the better side to start with, and then, then they uh, they got a goal, and then they got another goal straight away, and, and it's probably the next goal that was very important with that one. Uh, and then the Stoke game, in complete contrast, I think we we, we kept our belief in what we did, uh, and we got the uh, the equalising goal, and we should have gone out and scored the winner, I think. Given the injuries that we've sustained in defence, Chester, Hutton, Elphick, Neil Taylor at times, how pleased are you with the way the back four have bonded, the one that started over the last three games? I th well, as you say, the, 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 back, the back four, I mean, we, we, at one stage we had four defenders, I think, and three of those were right backs, so uh, it was important we got some new bodies through the door. Uh, and the personality and their character was very important. Uh, and they've all come in and they're all, I suppose Ty and, and uh, Courtney uh, uh, did add something to prove. I mean, Tommy, everybody knows what Tommy can do and, and Tails. And I mean, Ches has been a massive miss. Uh, and to lose Axel when we did when he was probably playing out of his skin uh, has, has been, you know, it was tough to take. But the, the new boys that have come in and uh, with John and the gaffer, the work that they do on the back four, I think we've seen a, a massive improvement. Anybody who comes into the back four uh, now has got a real, real direction of where they need to go. Now important now these last five weeks to keep feet on the ground and, and reiterate that there's still all to play for. You, of course it is. I mean, uh, we've got ourselves into a position where we wanted to be, uh, where at one stage it looked like we weren't going to be. Uh, I, I think, you know, to the last five games, the last five weeks of the season, uh, we have to be. Um, we're, we're on a roll at the moment, momentum, and I think it's very important that we, that we keep that momentum going, and that will be what we do day to day, uh, how we react to little situations, how we react to setbacks again, uh, because you know, football, uh, you know, it, 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 you. you Sometimes you can play the, as, as, you know, you can have all the possession, all the shots at goal, and the opposition or the referee makes a mistake, and you can lose a game one nil. But we have to keep our belief in what we're doing. It's probably the biggest thing. Keep our belief in what we're doing, uh, and, and keep whatever the state of the game. Keep striving to do what we've been working at.